guys and welcome to a new doll box opening and review video as you know I am in a series of Lil Fairy at the moment so this is the second one out of three and she is the second doll of the Lil Fairy coming out ever made by Aizen so she is Erino Little Maid so when the Lil Fairy actually started they had three characters Lipu which I already made a video of uh, Erino and Veil and Basically, they always came out in the same order, so you would have Lipu, Erino and Vel. That's why I'm opening Erino today, because this is a second video and this is a second door. Uh, so, let's get started and let me open her for you. So, since I got this doll in second hand, there is a possibility that uh, everything is not where it would be if you actually bought her uh, first hand, like brand new. So first we have the uh, background, which is always the same plain background that you have for all the little fairies. So it's very plain. And then you have like a picture of her on the side, on both sides. And then you have like a picture of the two other dolls in the series. So I already put up the video of Lipu and then I'm going to have Vel next. Then, of course, she comes with a book, but because she's a little fairy of the first series, she also comes with a card. So we have uh, basically Erino's ID card right here, and it says Erino on it, and it says a uh, little helper. And at the other side, you have it's a little fairy, and it's a blue card because basically Erino's color is mostly blue. So that's what you have. Then we also have the little flyer, so you have Erino at the front and when you open you have uh, a picture of Erino and her friend and then you have what Erino would look like when she removed her maid apron and the full picture as a maid. Then when we open we have a little introduction, we have Erino um, dressed in full and then we have everything she comes with so the hairpiece the id card some cleaning device a broom a dress which has separable sleeves apron and a skirt panties socks and shoes and of course the multiple hands the little fairy came with and then we have another picture of Erino carrying our broom. So let's uh, have a look at everything the doll comes with. So first here I have the thing she cleans with. So we have this little cleaning sheet here, which is basically the same Lipu came with. And I have so many of that because lot of little fairy comes with this one. Then we have the broom. So this broom is made of uh, wood. So you have the wood piece here. And then you have some little, like very very thin little piece of wood. And it has, it's attached with some thread uh, at two different places. So it's really tied well together. Then of course we have all the pair of hands which I'm going to remove from here. So you have like closed fist, open hand, peace sign and pointing finger and the pointing finger with uh, one like pinky up. But I'm not going to hop on it because I'm running out of space where I put my hands. So I'm going to keep them in the packet for the moment. Then we have the shoes. So she has little black shoes with heels and her black shoes are crossed at the front. So you have like crossed little piece of uh, leathery thing crossed up. And then the uh, hair piece. 
So it's a very simple made hairpiece made of plastic and it's covered with fabric and it has this less at the front. So now let's have a look at uh, Erino. So there is some tape, so okay, it's open very easily and she comes out of the box and she has this plastic around her head that I need to remove. So here we go. So taking care of her hair and she is a little blonde. Here we go. That's Erino. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to zoom on her so that you can see everything from close up. Say hello to little Erino here. So she uh, is actually a little blonde girl with blue eyes. So as I said before, if you want to recognize the little fairy, Azon never changes the eye color so much or the mouse shape so Erino is the one with the blue eyes uh, you can see if I like if I ever manage to get the two Erinos that I'm missing and make a video you, you would see that all of them have the blue eyes she has a blonde hair too like Lipu had blonde hair in this uh, series but she has a sort of more blondish brown grayish hair so it's kind of dirty blonde hair. Then she uh, is wearing her made uh, hair piece. So as I said before, it's like plastic covered with white fabric. And then you have the lace at the front. So of course, because she is a maid, she is wearing She is wearing this apron that goes on top of her dress. So the apron is all white with this uh, black ribbon at the front and it has two little bows on the sides. At the back you can see it's attached with um, cross thing, the things that go over her shoulders, they are crossed and they are attached on the side with little uh, clip buttons, so you can remove the clip buttons for everything, basically. She has three clip buttons, two for the thing on, on top of her shoulder and the third one to attach the apron around her waist behind the bows. So you can also remove that here. I'm going to remove the apron completely so that you will be able to see her dress properly. So, put her back to the front. So, her dress is made of three different pieces. You have first the separated sleeves, which are blue with the less at the wrists. And the little piece of ribbon with a bow at the center of the lace board. Then you have the uh, dress itself which is made of blue fabric and it has a lot of decoration. So you have the white little collar around her neck, you have a little bow at the front, you have um, less at the front to make decoration with little beads that make like fake buttons. Then you have little bow at the side of her, uh, around her. You have little bows on her sleeve, at the top of her sleeve, and then the dress finishes down here with a folded fabric sewn all around and a little piece of uh, less, anyway. The piece of lace that you can see at the front is um, all around a lot better. Like you can see a larger piece of that lace on the other side of the dress. Then underneath she is wearing this underskirt petticoat made of 
six different pieces of tulle. So you have, they go two by two, so you have two short pieces, two a little bit larger pieces, and then two very long pieces on top of each other, and they are sewn on this little white fabric here. Then you have the panties, which are little shorts, and then you have the socks, so she's wearing little tiny white socks. And of course the shoes, which have like this crossing thing at the front. So Erino's shoes are actually quite hard to put on. So the tips I can give you to put on her shoes without any trouble is that you actually uh, remove the feet from the leg at the ankle so basically here you remove it here and you keep the socks on okay and then you're going to slit the feet inside of the shoe then you slit the leg back inside the socks and attach uh, back the feet to the leg with the peg because otherwise if you try to uh, slit the feet inside the shoe while still being on the body uh, you might have an accident and break the peg. So not to break the peg, It's I find it easier to actually just remove the feet completely like that. So basically when you actually put on the, the shoe, you have only the feet on the sock. So you can press as hard as you want, it's not going to break. Because see the, the peg is here and it's it's not so strong. Then you just put it back up. And here we go. She's got her leg completely back. So that was the tips for today. I hope uh, that helped you not to break your hair, you know. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, this is the last Erino that I got. I'm still missing two of them. I'm missing the Erino Schoolgirl, which is exactly the same Erino, but with a school uniform. And I'm missing Erino Little Maid uh, not, not Little Maid, uh, Erino Azon Staff, the Door Show Limited version. I have the Azon Store Limited version, but I don't have the Door Show Limited version. And she's really hard to find, so those two are really hard to find. I don't know if I'm ever going to find them, but I'll still be looking because they're just uh, three dolls that I'm missing to have, all the Little Fairy ever made. So it would be a shame not to find them. So anyway, uh, I really like this one. I think she's really pretty. I think uh, the first series was uh, gorgeous, like the hairstyle and the dress they made. I kind of like the fact that they have these two possibility for the outfit, like with the apron, without the apron, with the sleeve, without the sleeve. It's it's pretty cool. Like is this like like this? She looks like a winter style dress, but if you take off the sleeve, she's like more spring style so it's pretty nice anyway that's all for today I still need to go and take a picture of her so I'm going to see you later for something else in the next video I still have veil to open so don't forget to subscribe to find the video more easily and see you next time for something else have fun whatever you do bye